Hey folks, in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the AMD 3600X. This is a 6 core, 12 thread CPU from AMD, which can clock a little bit higher than the 3600, and I'm going to be using it in my upcoming PC build, which you can track in the video linked. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll see if I can manage this with my fingernail here. Be right back with a knife. All right, I'm back and I am armed. So now let's get into this thing. So there is the top of the box. Let's crack this open. You have your little Wraith cooler pictured on the side here. And then I think that's the CPU itself just peeking at you at the beginning of the box. Bottom is very boring, top is very boring. Let's open this on up. Right at the top, you get your AMD instructions, warranty information, and certificate of authenticity. And then an important to read document, which I will probably not read at all. All right, so out of the side here, I'll put that back in so I can show you from on top. So out of the side for a display, you have the CPU itself, which you just pull right out there and it sits in its display area there. You can pull it right out. You've got yourself a Ryzen sticker, as well as the CPU itself in this packaging. And this is just a little case to allow that to stay in the middle and be on display. Really not that nice of an unboxing experience here, but you know, AMD is kicking Intel's ass for performance for price, and this is part of how they do it. I'm not upset. So then, Breaking into the Wraith cooler here, we've got another box. Open this on up. Pull off the plastic shroud there. And you have direct access to the cooler. And this thing feels pretty hefty and gets good numbers from what I've seen. Um, I would not do what I just did, which is touch the bottom of this, although I'm really not too concerned myself because I will not be using the Wraith cooler. I will instead be using a Corsair H100 in this build. Um, so if any of you want to take a look at the unboxing and installation of that water cooler, go ahead and check out the link included. Um, but for right now, we've got the AMD Wraith cooler. so. For anyone looking to get decent performance, little worse on the thermals, but decent performance without paying an extra dime, definitely a great option to just have this in the box. Fantastic. Great that AMD includes this as Intel does not include coolers with many, if any, of their modern CPU options. So. That's it for that. And then now we will move on into the installation of the CPU in the motherboard. So for the installation of the CPU, make sure to line up the triangle in the corner of the CPU with the triangle shown on the motherboard. And then just latch it down once you have the pins solidly in place there. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to stay in tune for the rest of this build and for all future videos.